All right, stream is live, I believe. Let me double check everything. Coming through good. Squad showing it live. Hello, everybody, and welcome to our Wednesday, July 25th Squad Ops event. We are doing a solo event. I'm actually going to have to update some of these titles because uh, tonight it, your commentators for the evening are, is Bcar. How's it going, Bcar? Hey, it's doing pretty well. How about yourself, my dude? And I am your secondary commentator, Shadowed Ritual. We are doing a single POV. We had a little technical issues going down uh, with the multicam preview. But uh, we're going to give you what we can. We'll try and provide some of this sweet, sweet one live action. Uh, hello, everybody. How's it going? Krabby McFickerson. That's a neat name. And uh, tonight we bring to you Operation... Foxheart. This is the, uh, a this. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. This was a yeah, reg so event, cho or it was chosen by our regulars. Bikar? We have. That's uh, correct. It was. Uh, uh, we would hold it down as event staff, and then we presented the regs, some again. options, and then what we did was there were, all the regs voted on it. Yeah, and this, uh, this an was OG this was the big op. one. This is this was year one squad ops created by Hutch. This is one of the first ten ops created for squad ops, and. Uh, it's a fun one. It can either turn into a massacre from one side or the other, or it can just be super action-packed, like, action the entire time. And uh, I just love, I love, Matt, I was talking to, to Bikar earlier as we were getting the stream set up and getting ready to go. I love operations on Sumari. It's just CQB, you get action within the first couple minutes just because of how small the map is. And just things can, you can, you can do some pretty neat things if you know what you're doing. Yeah, the, the, the whole idea is it's a pretty simple it's a pretty simple set of objectives, but executing uh, is tricky. Showed you had a especially for US on this one. Uh so we put, well, can I get you to uh, join on the yeah, sure full you operation, on. which is Everybody that signed up, is, or we had plenty of people sign up for this event, and plenty of people show up. So we got yeah. some uh, four v four, four squads v four squads. Uh, yeah, an actual full up. We've actually we've been floating around like the 75, 76 mark uh, for for most of our ops this summer, and uh, this is yeah, it's a full on eighty v eighty, or sorry, eighty v eighty. That would be amazing, first off, but uh, forty v forty. So it should be some uh, some pretty intense stuff, or about forty v forty. You got to give. Room for our uh, admins and, and then our commentaries so on either teams. But for the most part, it's going to be a, a full four on four op with your commands. Or, yeah, with your command squads. Let's say, in fact, let's go over our uh, command structure for this evening. For the U.S. this round, we have uh, platoon leader Storm with squad leads Jackboot, Mr. Yuzi, Londarts, and Alpha Guido. So, a lot of uh, uh, Storm, very experienced. Londart's very experienced. Mr. Yuzi, I think he's in that mid mid tier. Same with Jackweed. I've seen him a couple times. I haven't seen Alpha Guido squad lead before, so he may be. This may be his his first time uh, squad lead. Uh, I don't think it's his first time. I think he was first a couple of uh, or what, maybe this past weekend. Okay, so so he's still relatively However, new in the squad lead. I love seeing new squad leads. If you become a regular, for those of you who don't know, you have the option to volunteer to squad lead, and after our staff gets first pick. Uh, we, we we dip into the regulars and uh, we give them a chance to squad lead. And I love seeing these new people squad lead. You get to see a new it brings in a new um, new mix to things, a new a new style perhaps. And it's just a new voice and and it's more people getting that experience in the in the, in the leadership position. Uh, going going forward for the insurgents, we have Command Hero with squad leads Axe Gaming. It's Crispy, Bag of Joe, and Jack. So lots of experience here. It's crispy. Jack, uh, axes. I, I think he'd be regular, pretty experienced at this point. Uh, Bag of Joe. I think he's in the same boat as Alpha Guido. He's he he's not new, but he's still he's still getting his feet wet when it comes to a squad lead. And Hero, has he commanded before? He has. He's yes. one of the newer commanders. He's one of the newer commanders uh, for probably sure. Probably along with probably along with me and some other folks that have started to uh, once once we. Uh, once we joined a team and started volunteering, we started uh, throwing our weight behind commanding. I've done more firefights, which are the smaller operations we have. But Heroes just jumped into full-on operations and seems to have done pretty well for himself. 
he's got a little bit of uh, experience with full ops now, probably about uh, over the last month. He's probably commanded uh, three or f uh, about two or three, I think. Oh, that's and, good to uh, hear. Yeah, he's uh, he's doing well with it. Down. He's taking a lot of criticism in stride, and uh, you know, not that there was a lot to you now, know divvy out in the first general. place, but he's uh, he's definitely learning. He's the gonna be. I think he's going to be. What, I think he's going to do well for himself on our ass. Here. I think but, he's going to um, have a pretty straightforward plan. To be honest, these I think the U.S. is about to start their yes, roll out of mine. Let's go ahead and listen in for a little bit. So we're going to roll out of main, head south, head to that friendly fob mark. Nice uh, column, nice security. Right. Once we go beyond that, we're going to start to uh, get into their base of fire. Now I'm going to mark a particular building for you. That there is an awesome building when you're on defense here as the INS. There's a, a point where an AR can lie prone and shoot at that bridge. The assault can be on a, a rooftop by a stairs. That's a, a point that we need to look at. And uh, once we get to around about this mark, that's where we'll see it from. All right, so we're gonna be very slow through there. We're gonna start to make a lot of noise. We might spread north or south just to put down a lot of fire while the majority of our forces go across the bridge I'm marking here with the uh, enemy red truck, All right? So we're a diversionary force. Um, now, depending how it goes, situations being fluid, listen to your FTLs, listen to your squad lead. Any questions? Do they have LAT? The INS gets uh, FTLs, two ARs, one radar, one scout, one medic. They have on their FOB, which is Palace, which is Golf 6-2. That's our objective, All right? Golf 6-2. Actually, it's not Golf 6-2. Charlie. Palace. Sir. Yeah, Charlie 6-2. I have a question. Um, Charlie 6 to our objective, right? Palace is our objective. Uh, they have two H HMGs. They have no defenses other than that, other than uh, riflemen, sandbags, and barbed wire. All right, question. Are the scouts allowed to go out of the palace, let's say, island? Yes, they, they start at Palace. So Stormfront's going to be a diversionary force. I think we're doing a secondary brief over here. And we are going to move around like so. Once we hit that mine marker is when Londart should start his advance. We're going to move around, trying to stay out of line of sight. Okay. We're going to maintain our battle comms the entire way because we could get engaged at any time up here. And once we hit this bridge, we're going to cover as we move and four man elements across the bridge. The reason it's four man elements is we need fire superiority when breaching. So we're just going to lightly clear the buildings around us. We're going to move up to around this marker here with the logic mark. From there, we're going to breach and clear Palace. Now, they should have at least a couple of defenders on Palace. If he doesn't, it won't be his wisest choice. Uh, watch out for heavy dishkas. They could have shielded dishkas anywhere around their fob, so just keep an eye out. Uh, keep an eye out on rooftops for any snipers that are trying to pick you off. Uh, once we breach and clear the palace, we're going to hold it until Londarts can reach us with his force. Five-minute warning. Uh, question. Go ahead. Uh, which squad will be taking the uh, MRAP? Londarts. Right to that. Squad two. All right. All right. So, so basic plan for the U.S. is a two-pronged attack. Londarts looks like he's going to be, uh, what would the correct term be, uh, platoon, platoon sergeant in this thing? I, I guess platoons don't have an XO. But second in command, taking half of the platoon, and going to be a diversionary force along the south bridge, the southern bridge. And then Storm is going to take the remainder of the platoon, go north, and then try and cross in from ancient Kanaan area. First, I, or, I think we should give them a, <laughs> tell them exactly what this operation is about. We sort of just jump right in. Our event admins have been doing a great job getting things moving, and we are about ready to start. This is Operation Foxheart. The U.S. goal is to assault Palace. 
there's a fob in palace and the INS are tasked with defending palace and the infantry have to cross bridges they have to cross bridges they have to cross one two three four of these main bridges and then there's a footbridge that they can uh, that they can cross the US kits include two automatic riflemen one grenadier and one medic per squad three and minutes. they get one MRAP open top sounds like uh, lawn darts is gonna be the the half of the platoon with the open top and they're gonna try and be a diversionary force on this the INS have two automatic riflemen one raider one scout and one medic per squad so that's four scouts for the whole uh, INS platoon we're gonna see some good use out of those IEDs hopefully and uh, potentially the the um, the mines and then they also get a Lodgy as a vehicle for uh, for their fob and the, at their fob they can put down two HMGs no other defensive structures and so we'll see how they uh, the INS plan to to use those HMGs to defend pallets that's a recent change right they used to be you could build defenses in the in the uh, the point and that made Defending or defending a uh, palace re ridiculously easy and almost impossible for the U.S. to to. Yeah, I mean, if 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 there was if if INS had fortifications as part of their fob allotment, uh, it would just be ridiculous. You'd have to like survive the initial incursion for U.S. with three squads three four, to be able to throw one to, to you know distract an assault force. You'd have to be. You, I mean, it would take way too long. I think. Yeah, However, I've definitely seen go, that guys. where it, go, it takes go. a long time. Yeah, but you know, oh, we're live here. And um, however, you know, Three INS miles, every rifleman has sandbags and razor wire. Yeah, so, oh, here's, that's, uh, that's correct. There's a there's a lot of sandbags and stuff that they can use. So it's not like they don't have any defensive structures. It's just not the insane amount that we're used to seeing from this op operation in the past. And I think that's going to be a good change. It should it should provide a different dynamic and force the INS to to, to play a little bit differently rather than turtle yeah, in right the uh, the palace and let them run into your. Right off the bat, INS are spreading out. Looks like they're going uh, a squad per bridge. Yeah, looks like it about. They're a focusing squad per on bridge. western. They're focusing on the southwestern part of the southern uh, across. I mean, I don't know what you call it. Uh, I guess it's the uh, the the western part of where the palace is, the palace quarter of the city. I don't know yeah, what you call it. I, like I, I think so. The the walled the walled gardens area. I think that's what's yeah. called in the infantry line. Uh, okay. Right off the bat, we got Sergeant Rabbit going across the bridge. What kit is he? What kit does Sergeant Rabbit He's have? FTL. An FTL. Okay, so let's see what he I, wants to do in sure this this river. Well. I'm I'm interested to see. He's just hiding underneath, and he's going to be a super sneaky. Yeah, I think he's going to just be super sneaky. We'll see if that uh that plays out well for him. I like to I I we should really pay attention to where they put these IEDs and where they put these mines. Looks like uh Bilbo Shaggins goes and sets his mine. Doesn't dig it down. I can, can they dig it down? I'm pretty sure they can dig it down as long as they're right. IEDs cannot be dug down. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, what about these mine? Bilbo Shaggins. Mine's going to be dug down, down okay. to the red disc. Okay, cool. So mine is being dug down. Good for him. Mine's going to be dug down. I'd like to see where that IED is. He, he doesn't have his IED down just yet. Oh, and Squad 4, led by Axe Gaming, is going to push across the river and set up on the creek between Ancient Cannot and Slums. Something tells me they're pushing ahead to try to get the uh, the MRAP. I think that's a vehicle hit squad. Is he's got a sinful grove axe gaming uh, on point. The rest of his uh, the rest of his squad looks like he's going to set up an offensive or a defensive line along the creek bed. Ooh, he's a scout. Yeah, the, the, uh, looking for a sneaky line, line I think. Now. We're just getting a little bit more. Uh, well, they're going to be disappointed when no one's close. So and matter of fact, they're angry. within 80 meters of contact here. Not going to be able to get this mine isn't going to work for sure. Matter of fact, INS. INS have called out there's a squad coming towards that. Axe location. However, the squad isn't really going towards Axe. They're oh, just get around the there. Hold there, down the road there now. I bet it was... There's somebody the on the... Uh... It's Hero in the Minaret. Yeah, Hero in the Minaret. Oh, that's Command. Very greedy from uh from the US... Or for, sorry, from the INS Command. Easy, very easy to get shot out of that. I'd like to see him get down and put somebody else on that position. You know, you you don't yeah. want to be the guy up there, but if you had a scout in there, it's very very useful information. Yeah, but the fog being what it is for this particular layer, you got about a realistic engagement distance of like 100 150 meters. But the fact that all the cityscapes in the way, it's super difficult to find flat open ground for 100 150 meters. The only way you can really do that is on the on the roads. 
where the roads are wist- or windy and turning and stuff, and they I, just. How many did you see? Uh, you can maybe get a straight shot for 100 meters, but not really. You, it's really all about going compound to compound for U.S. Yeah, until they get a nice safe spot, a pair. Um, and uh, more, and then they sort of launch their assault across the bridge. The creek and take the creek bed. U.S. had Three, spotted uh, Axe Gaming spotted. and uh, Simple Grove. They gave their position away. They tried to to position themselves just inside of this that, building, uh, and they just they get, they got spotted doing it, getting a little greedy. Hello, everybody who is just joining us. This is a Squad Ops One Life event. This is Operation Foxheart, and we are little more than three to five minutes into this game. No dust yet, not even any firing going on. Looks like Lawn Darts is uh, getting ready. The U.S. have split into two two, uh, two groups. Uh, one group led by Lawn Darts, uh, over here by the, I, I believe this is Raisin Dryer. And uh, they are the distraction force. And then uh, Lawn Darts, or sorry, um... That. Storm um, took the rest send, of his platoon some, uh, up some north, and they're going to be the actual forward. group to uh, just, cross. We'll, we'll the it's a lot of commitment southwest here for U.S. for this distraction force. Yeah, However, I, the I MRAP is uh, the MRAP is like on the road. You INS know where it is, and the shots fired north. Yep, that is Storm taking shots at Sinful Grove and Axe. Oh, takes out Axe Gaming. That's a squad. First casualty is a squad lead. That can be devastating, especially because this squad is stuck across the uh, the bridge, and yeah, every so every all infantry uh, have to use the bridge. Uh, if you look, this water super deep. You can see the bottom of it, but it is super deep, and they they will die if they cross it. And I think they I think they're <laughs> thinking the you guys are thinking there's more up yeah, here because uh, Simple Groove is hanging back here, and he's got uh, a nice your, angle. On your approach, but the way that uh, U.S. are sort of positioned right here, they're uh, not. There's only one person looking north. Everyone else is clearing compounds around this area, expecting more contact. And and that's it's it's smart in my opinion. You, you never know what's actually here. It looks like a Clay J is seeing Simple Grove. Clay J saw saw Simple Grove. Oh, takes him out. It looked he tagged him. Didn't have time to bandage. So that scouting element with Axe Game and Simple Grove gone. That's a scout and a and a um. And a, and a squad lead. Right, he's taking over uh, Axe's squad. Looks like yeah, Dash. Mentioned an IED and uh, an AT mine that was never laid. So that's a lot of resources lost for INS here. Very important assets not not able to be used by the uh, the INS. Very bold move. You can respect it, but it just didn't pay off in the end. They they, they got a little too greedy. I I I think if they had tried to get it just around this bend. Just around the bend, um, they tried to get the mine down and then pull off immediately. They got greedy trying to get into this uh, vineyard area and, ah, and get some, some sneaky the, eyes uh, behind them. Uh, the far southwestern bridge, we're going to have contact. We're going to have shots fired soon. Uh, lots of finest reports of infantry, and here we go. Yep. I know, or U.S. have a really nice line going down to, to put down fire. It, it, it looks really nice from above. Like, we can see this. But just there's a lot of walls that they've got to, to peek around. Like it's forcing Joker and Assault to, to, to peek through the same wall. It's forcing Nova and, and Alpha Guido to look through the same hole. So the walls are really playing, uh, playing uh, tricks with everybody, forcing them to, to funnel into to certain areas. There's also a lot of U.S. that are out of position. Some of these U.S. forces, there seems to be like a fire team plus and a squad lead way south where uh, none of no one's going to be able to cross anyway yeah uh, we've got seems a little opposition a little rather more north but yeah. i think they're they're worried about somebody trying to to cover the field because what i think they the goal is for squads so, one and squads two alpha guido and lawn darts squad to cross the river and then push south into the field and i think what mr money man and uh flicker are doing is just making sure nobody's getting into that field beforehand Nobody is being sneaky laying there. We've got uh, Sergeant Rabbit underneath the bridge. We'll see see what he decides to do. Super sneaky. Oh, he's on the, super he's sneaky. On the he's... Yep. Like, I mean, I get that, but he's a fire team lead. He shouldn't be out here by himself. A, yeah. B, uh, he shouldn't be out here in this position, period. Looks like, you, right, let's look at... INS troop movements. I think that's yeah. really what's going to tell us what Hero's thinking, besides obviously you being able to hear his comms. Uh, is Hero diverting infantry away from other bridges to cover these west bridges, or is he calling the bluff that that is just a diversionary force? 
so far the answer is he's not moved to any forces right. uh, we just had our he has uh DC. basically uh, he's got a uh, away from he's got a fire team plus no, on the North the Creek, creek where I, where U.S. can uh, traverse the cross. creek uh, on foot. They don't have to use the footbridge. It's right there. No, or the other bridge away from north. However, they he has a fire team covering a the north footbridge that I, that U.S. must take uh, on the river. Can you prone out right here on this corner? One. We're just about There's more shots up here. On the first Hello, everybody. Right here. Here. Just wanted to say, if you have any questions about what's going on, if you have any comments, feel free to chat up or uh, talk in chat, and we will try and answer as many questions as we can. Talk to me more. Yeah, move up a bit. Looks like uh, Raider goes four is taking down. Contact. forces push uh, east here. Four. There are, yeah. I'm a force here on number, but they are holding them right now. There's a fire team north that seems to be uncontested. They're on the other side of this hill. And they're gonna have has a, a nice fire team that's across the river all, or across the creek already. They're about to get pincered in if these guys don't move soon. And they don't, they don't have too many defensive uh, structures in between them and safety. If they try and re retreat back, we got Reaper, uh, Reaper, Solo Scout, Gashby, Solid Wolf. Like they're they're not in in, in the best of positions. It looks like Soldier Wolf is about to be run up on by Seabass. Meanwhile, in the south, uh, Dishka Tripod gets several hits on the nice. M-Ramp, and it's smoking. Same way you see us. Great pincer movement by the U.S. to, to push know. across this river in two different spots and then close the, close the, uh, close the gate. Uh, I have called a retreat. They're retreating the northern fire team to the bridge. The U.S. pushed this advantage. They might be able to cut these guys off. They might be able to get four or five right here. But they're all stacked up Command in the same the building. Raider are throwing grenades in. Uh, oh, yeah, one one grenade takes out uh, Galley. Right, no, no, JP takes out JP. You, 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 you that that grenade could out. have been devastating if it had gone one the wall over. Wars, yeah, that's unfortunate. It could have gotten the Command, that squad lead, and at least another guy. Yeah, they need to get guys spread out. Let's go check out what the uh, diversionary force is doing. They haven't lost anybody. They've got smokes going. I think they're doing their job as a diversionary force. They're forcing, they're forcing MRAP, these the guys to to stay in position. Yeah, MRAP is hurting. Yellow, you said it took a couple shots at it. It's a little more than fifty percent. Oh, comes again. it's gonna go down here. Pop. Great position by that uh, dishka techie. Yeah, it was partisan on the dishka. He was prone behind the dishka, and he has a he has a uh, set of uh, sandbags in front of him. He popped right up, and his dishka was already pre-positioned for pretty much where the MRAP was, and yeah. it didn't that. take but 20, 20, 30 rounds to pop that uh, pop the MRAP. Where has Muff been lately? I'm not sure. Smoking. Yeah. Muff has been around. He's got some real life stuff going on. And uh, real life comes first, so he's he's been around. Smokes, he just yeah. hasn't been as active as. Yes. Oh, smokes, if you haven't. We got smokes going out, trying to cover the uh, the the, uh, the road. Got some uh, fire going up by Nova just to cover things. And, and Partisan, trace work both ways. Nova, you're about to get shot. The Partisan has the ideal discotheque situation, in my opinion, is the unshielded discotheque. Or sorry, I said the unshielded dish gun. Just because it's easier to see, you can get your rounds on fire uh, on target way quicker. Tom Peach is leading a, a charge across. Wow. He's gonna get mowed down. Don't go prone. You have to commit. You have to commit. Yeah, all four go down. Wow. You have to commit. That was, that was reckless. Yeah. The, the smoke just parted the wrong way. Yeah, the, the smoke parted in the wrong way, and, and the thing is, they, they started running, they started getting shot at, and they go prone immediately. You need to you need to commit, you need to keep moving, you need to keep running, and you need to get across. I mean, why wouldn't you add more smokes there first? You have GLs, at least a GL, like a GL smoke goes straight up, right? You would be able to cover that, you would be able to cover that hole on right next to the end of the bridge there with the GL side. Smoke's going and now they add more smokes, a little, little lay here. And it's actually relatively oh, even. Oh, grenade close. Oh, it gets two. Oh, right as I went away to check out what the, what's going on. It bounced on the off the roof. And it was on its way down and it killed two people. I got Nova wow. and one other. I'll come back, I'll come back. I got it, take it.
pocket balls out. And, and it's relatively yeah. even in we'll kills. Um, the the INS are up about about four or five. One. Uh, link up with two. Yeah. Uh, if you need to go to your west, do so. Pull back from that. Yeah, my count, they're up. Uh, you said cover on class first. We'll get to be some more than you. that. Fuck it. Kills, yeah, it says, uh, yeah, seven. Okay. Up, up by seven. It's still anybody's game, but the, the U.S., they got across, they got across that river. This is the main point of contention. Is this, this whole river area. There's only a couple, uh, in, a couple north, of bridges they can do, they can cross. The north footbridge, they're massing, and there's an AR directly across from it. Oh, seared, a scout seared gets pinged. Yeah, Elite is set up right on the, uh... Right next to some boxes, waiting for anybody to peek. Your chest there's gets really hit. only one way they can peek. They can peek in that little half wall right there. There's been a little bit of INS shifting. One, They've two. moved the oh, fire team, the remaining of the fire team that was Let north, know, they moved them the over to the big bridge northeast. Fleet takes and out by the smaller force to cover the footbridge north here. Oh, here we storm. go, smokes. Storm one taps elite. Whoa. That's the AR covering his bridge, but that AR might have done his job. I mean, he he, he went one for one, but he's, he's people know that they're now getting ready to cross this bridge. Smoke's getting ready. Londarts has done a great job on uh, on, on repositioning himself. He sees that south that south bridge isn't going to work. He's going to go one bridge up. Continue trying to, to harass and cross, harass and cross. He might he might Here we go. Sh shuffling back and forth. Potential IED on the bridge. Um, yep. They're using their GL smokes. Londarx is making them use their GL smokes. Not going as far as I'd hope they are. I think he's trying to lob it a little bit higher, but they're just not working. There he goes. He gets, he gets a good one. That's oh, on nice. The head, uh, north and getting good GL smoke there, blocking off the doorways and windows. Some of the smokes have just missed the bridge entirely. Yeah, it's like framing the bridge. Copy. It's like like movie smoke, where it's like it doesn't cover anything. It just looks cinematic as fuck. That's oh, the U.S. cross north. Oh wow, they cross in mass. Nearly a squad to cross north. No IED to be seen. There's a fire team behind them, maneuvering, but U.S. have a foothold in in the walled gardens. They need to spread out. I'd be scared of IEDs at this point. This is a this is very. I, they they don't know they don't know that there's no IED here. But so I would have people spread out. They need to have guys on rear security. They don't know that there's what there's it's BC Universe Dash B Carlson yeah, Krailson and uh, solo scouts oh, They're smoking off the alleyway now Should have overwhelmed one bridge from the start as attackers they had the element of surprise while defense had to cover every bridge That is yeah See, see Snobby, that, that is the two ways to approach this. There's the, the two-pronged attack. Ooh, they, they gave away their position on this rear security. Uh, looks like BC Universe gives it away. They could have gotten a little closer before opening fire. He was in position, but the rest of his fire team wasn't. Gave away that element of surprise right there. So they could do the two-pronged attack, or they could do a single single point in overwhelm. I like the, the single point in overwhelm. The takes out Carlson and uh, BC Universe there, so they eat it for not being in position first. Two INS behind them still on the Dash being solo scout. They might have a better position here to try to catch some of these people because the US are still north of the wall. And they're exposed to him, but... Yeah, he's getting off the wall. So the two-pronged attack tends to be a little more complicated. You have to be able to uh, to time the attacks correct correctly and uh, and attack simultaneously. They did not. They they it was staggered, and it's giving uh, the the INS chance to to maneuver guys around and get people in position. Um, the the single uh, the single pronged attack um, it's easier to to time, and and but the thing is it can go amazing or it can go terribly. You can lose. INS have platoon. just called a general retreat here. U.S. forces have occupied the building directly across the street from Palace. And uh, U.S. forces are, they have some rear security set up, but there's only really a squad that's gotten through. If uh, INS can consolidate real quick here, they can lock this off. Uh, Partisan takes out Londars, running across the road on his own. Unfortunate. They're getting picked apart, but there's a lot of people across the river already. 
hold that smoke. Copy. There's actually a INS fire team that's behind enemy lines right now. It's Dash being ripped for solo scout. They're moving around. But I think there's another one south. Yeah, Jack and Gunnery Sergeant Rabbit have got uh, the remainder of the U.S. push over here on the uh, the west contained the compound. They're retreating straight towards Dash being and, and uh, Frag is a little late there, but Dash B and uh, Spread for Solo Scout could uh, get some kills here. I bet you Dash B heard him running there. Hold security here. Let me see what's up. He hears him. Hold hears okay. him. Hey, this is one. They push us back with and There's only one way in this compound. I don't think you can prone underneath that door. Yeah, so I think Dash B's going to walk his way in here. Assault saying, hold security here. He, they hear them. What, Ghost hears him. Man? Or one of them hears him. There you go. Spotted. Both, uh, I think one shot the door him? post and one shot the window post. So a little bit of bad aim there. But they got the door, they got the door in the compound covered by in two directions. So essentially, this is a fight for the sake of a fight at this point. At this, uh... Oh, we have UJ King Little Joe coming up behind the U.S. element. Then managed to take, uh, oh, I guess he did manage to take out Damien. One Maybe down, him. one bandaging. He's behind us, north. There's U.S. near Palace. Yeah, there's a saloon yeah, and Francio. Francio? The the INS are playing this very sneaky. I, I I can respect this. They don't have too many guys on the point. Well, now they got a couple guys on the point, and they're just maneuvering around and and and, and hitting them and running, hitting and running, just like a, the INS should be. Loon takes out a UJ key. All right, Dash B's down, but he got one. Jack gets a pistol kill. Sorry, right, that was a that was a SKS kill. Five guys over here for. Two. We're trying to avoid where one just got So the only one left looks like, uh, I guess it's Command. Command has a fire team with him? Yeah, or who's this up here? Is this one? Uh, Storm, Sergeant JC, Lima Bean, and Saloon are close no, to the it's... point. And then we've got about another full, oh geez, about another full fire team. Essentially back at their main. Jesus, little, bump, uh, little Bump as FTL has ta decided taking a wide, wide path back to the AO. Very, gonna, very hesitant. Way he's saying he's right avoiding where Squad 1 was, and he's just taking, he's just taking a very roundabout oh, path. I'd like to see yeah. him uh, take a, a, a little bit more of a risk and try and get his guys in the fight sooner rather than later, because these guys are getting picked off slowly but surely. Uh, they're the down point. to three US in the AO, Fucker. and one of them is getting pushed by they trade. Loon trades with Bilbo Shaggins. So two U.S. remaining in the AO. Uh, uh, five uh, taking their time to get around. This is U.S. command right here. There should still be some, just me and you. some kind of uh, communication going on between him and Squad 2. We'll see. Simple as best in the chaos of a firefight. So I think pushing one bridge <laughs> at the beginning would have worked better. Setting back and shooting gives it a All right, so going. I need you to try and push. Damn, this looks like to be a good operation. We should get to join them. Uh, Scumpy, check it out. Uh, check us out, SquadUps.gg. Sign up for our basic course. If you already have our basic course, you might be able to get in for round two. We're hauling ass now. Yeah, man. Hold what you got until two gets here. Yeah, That's always one thing that's uh that's under, that's sort of like not really known, that uh, sometimes people drop between rounds because, you know, these, these games take a little while. And sometimes we got some open slots for round two, so... Always sign up, always show up for roll call. If you don't get in the first time, you might get in for the second round. I am definitely a fan of the single pronged approach. I definitely feel it works better. And I, I, I feel it's a single pronged approach from either this bridge or this bridge here on the north. These, these two bridges on the north, I feel, are the best options. That west bridge, it's just can, so easy to get cut down. I can respect the single prong approach, but I mean, uh, I feel like you still have to effectively take two bridges. Yeah. Because. There's just that's just so much pressure to put on one point, and where's everyone gonna go after that? Like if you take the bridge where like where Jack is right now, uh, even even you saw it when the U.S. pushed across the bridge. Where are they gonna go? There was six people on the compound directly adjacent to that bridge, and they were just like, "What do we do?" For about like a minute, and if our raider was around there and had some grenades, you know, rip that squad. So I mean, I'm I'm a fan of the push across aggressive approach. I'm just not a fan of it with just okay, one just bridge. 
Alright, the, the two pronged approach works, I think, but it's it's gotta if if it's a two pronged approach, you gotta do it's like three three squads on one one bridge, one squad on the other kind of thing. Two squads on each just yes. limit your, your your firepower on both bridges so much that it's it's hard to, to yeah, get a foothold on either, if that makes Storm sense. Storm gets a kill. Yeah, Storm gets a kill. It's uh, e Thank you. Ooh, they take out Liberal Pundit. The Squad 2 is now in this fight, so we may be able to see a reconnect. They might be able to come back. They got a GL with them, and he's deadly accurate. That almost takes out uh, Sergeant Rabbit and Jack. Oh, goes right Ooh, through wow. the door. What a shot. Right oh, underneath the awning, that. right through a doorway. Yeah, what a shot. Cool. What wow. a, what a, that's, that's amazing. Yeah, great I'm, shot. Jack is stuck now because there's no other way out of that building, Nate. Because you can't jump through that little window. So all he can do is just put his gun in north and try to cover the uh, alleyway behind him. But U.S. forces, they're moving on to the, uh, the big bridge. They're going to come straight across here. They got one guy covering him above, but no one's in the Dishka far to the south here covering this bridge because they've all fallen back. So mm -hmm. this is five more U.S. in the AO now. Oh, and we're down to, we've got... Yeah, we're down to seven U.S. here remaining. Sergeant and, JC and, 13, and Storm. 13 insurgents, 12. One just died. Great job on uh, Storm take a shot like that. So Watch out, guys. There's guys 7 in, to 12. Uh, hang on, hang on. Hey, if you're commanding in the guys shop in the and you get kills, it's, it's, it's good coming. on you. Someone get in the your hands the dirty. Commanding, the south, yes. like sometimes I squad lead, I don't get any kills, but our squad gets like 10, 13 kills, yeah. you, you know, stuff like reference? that, and that makes me feel good inside. No, grid, grid but I feel that, like if you're commanding, come in you this building get in there. One on one Jack's getting surrounded. He's enough sub -PC, yeah. No, no, they're not checking. Right, they're well, not checking the building. There, so. Jack's called him out because they're outside my window. It's actually amazing they didn't see him. I guess you really can. Very hard. They need to clear this building. Storm, you want to link up with you? I got a very cool, funny-looking bug where he looks like he's looking through Binox, but his uh, SKS is coming out of his forehead. All right, all right, do we want to just rush across? Right. Yeah, we do. Have you got smoke? Cross and forth. I see. I know an area we can get in. In, So once you get on me, you'll oh, see. Oh, this could be bad. This could be very bad. There's a raider in that. There's a raider in this. Right, here comes Jack. Oh, he's sneaking out, Mr. Moneyman's riding up on him. Well, he gets one before the recoil does it. Oh, he's supposed to piss me off. Yeah, nope. that's that SKS for you. Takes out Mr. Money Man, but uh, it just doesn't work against him. Yeah, yeah, context, I'd have reloaded. No, 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 no. He tried to come no, out with the pistol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd have run and reloaded. I respect the, I respect the, you know, the, the commitment there, but I, and then again, he has no one else in his squad. And he's there at that bad point. He's, he should have been trying to save himself. But this is funny. Isn't there a ladder over here? Wow. Oh, the stairs. I'm like, how did that guy get up on the roof? Uh, two U.S. Oh, one of them tries to run across running. the main road, just gets gunned the shit down. That was Storm, down. too. That's U.S. Command down. Down to five yeah. against twelve. Four against twelve. And there's, 12. Uh, rear security on the compound here. That is all commands. That is, that's including fire team leads. Oh, no, well, one was a fire team lead. I'd like to hear one of these guys speak oh, up oh, and oh. local and start taking charge. Shit. At this point is where things start to fall apart. Door, when you don't have anybody who's getting door, people door, moving yeah. in a, a, a concerted direction. I think direction. these guys are all in the same element. So they're probably still using squad. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. Is the medic up? Yeah, this yeah, is the remainder Yeah, because they ran all the way around too. from the West Bridge. Yeah, yeah. Can you Seared Chess is, uh... I think he wants to Watch take this the eastern the road to sort of make sure they're not coming around. But the entire U.S. team is direct east of the palace compound. Okay, Other options here. I guess they need to sweep the outside of palace, make sure they get all these guys... Watching windows and doorways. I mean, in Dubalis, and would you directly in. attack the compound if you knew it was being covered by Silas in the rear? Hell no. Fair enough. But I mean, I would definitely go to the east road. Surrounded? I would definitely sweep around the east road, go south, and then come around. Yeah, I think so too. Guess not. <laughs> they have so much coverage. I mean, they have two elevated positions. With three people in them looking at the Just entrance to their compound right now. And Seer Chess, I think he's got a murder hole. Hello? 
He's got a yeah, murder hole. Ham dog's about to run through this murder hole. Oh, you, uh, guess not. Dude. Thought there's a way no, here. I think what they're gonna go around. Oh, cool. There's. He's mm -hmm. looking. Oh, oh, Seer chess is My looking bad. through a back door, back you entrance that has no way in. There's no way into this back entrance besides behind him. Okay, guys, I'm gonna cross so, no, he's the looking through the murder hole. Oh, the murder oh, hole? that is the yeah. sneakiest yeah. peak yeah. ever. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, no, that's yeah. where he's looking that's at right now. Yeah. Okay, I get it. Yeah. That is, yeah, that's sneaky. Wow, so I, keep I back, guys. respect to that position right there. I wonder if he hears people on his right now, because yeah. he's going to run up on him. Watch these windows to the right, I got the front. Yeah, here he is, he's dead. What, oh, a what a flick! What a flick! What a turn! <laughs> he turns <laughs> right back! Cover, 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 oh, cover, here cover. comes a nade. He's, cover. he's gone. Oh, maybe he'll realize and go through the door. Yeah, he will. Moving. No damage. No. Check. Gets him. Oh, Arrow yeah, gets nice through the door first. Yeah, I got him. First. He's dead. I'm moving, I'm moving. I'm moving right. Clear this right. is the only what two a, left, right? What an amazing... Oh, what an amazing flick. Oh what a, like, yeah. Aim, aimbot like straight up shot the head off. <laughs> that was Aimbot great. Aimbot that corner, my dude. Oh, I'd have died. I'd have, died. I'd have just died. Look like a, look like a freaking like Overwatch Fuck. game, like, you know, yeah, demo have, that you just, have right, in CSGO, my dude. To, to, that, so that two flick. on, Wait, we at least three on the game. outside and looks like five or six on the inside. Yeah, exactly. Three on the outside, six on the inside. Yeah, Silas two is on in position ten. to watch this. Oh, Ooh. one tap, Silas. Right here. Right here, right. Silas right. just didn't have it oh, this wait, time. Oh, never mind. Silas, I don't even think he was looking there. Yeah, I think he was looking because because we had two, oh, their oh. flicker goes down too. I think yeah, Silas. Silas. Gets one. Yeah, Although maybe to too early GL. to tell, do y'all see Postscript and taking off the way squad as? So could you expect to see ops in a or two setting? Um, it is too early to tell right now, Fox Strike. We we want to see where Postscript goes as a base game before we uh consider running ops oh, for it. But the Hard answer is, any, is, is not no background. yet. Like we're not saying we will not be running ops. We're not saying we are, but we're not saying we are. Or we're not saying we are not, but we're not saying we are. That makes sense. Sergeant JC coming around the back here. Partizani got it covered, but he hasn't taken any shots yet. Probably because there's a little roof in the way. Yeah. So he probably hasn't got visual yet, but he will soon. Oh, there's a wall in the way, too. Yeah. I, like I think he's looking at the road wall. and not. There's actually so much cover here. Yeah, there's no way Partizani would have got him unless he comes around this door. Yeah, unless he goes to the outside. I don't think he is, though. Nope, nope, nope. There's a tree in his way, too. They're going to be able to hear him in a second. Been closer than most Foxheart games. Silent definitely hurt him. There's yeah. Let's see what uh, Sergeant JC wants to do. I think so he's going to come out here and sounds going to pop. Oh, Sergeant JC's got a GL. I can't tell if he has the GL ready or oh. if he's on his rifle. He's not looking. Yep, sounds going to get him. Oh, there it goes. It's round one. And that's round one. Great job for the U.S. to, to sort of come through. Their, 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 their CQB was on point. Their CQB was on point. But if they had done a single-pronged attack, as Stumpy had suggested, and as I suggested, I think it would have done a, a lot better, especially if they had gone over this footbridge. There wasn't a lot of cover on either of these two northern bridges. If they had done a single-pronged attack from this direction and managed to spread out from the north, moving south, they, they, they would have... They would have won, I, I feel, or they would have had a a, a, a closer round than, than it already was. So they yeah. got down to seven. There was some serious execution flaw on the distraction. I yeah. think the distraction force what was going to really be a distraction, and then for some reason they decided to try to. Good job, their guys. Luck. Yeah, they tried to. Their I don't think they were. Bit. I don't think they were in the right At mindset to try it. Yeah, Lawnarts did a great job on. Oh, he saw that the distraction really wasn't well. working on that south bridge. Then he went one bridge up yeah. and kept shooting there. I felt that if he had done that a couple times, you know, float back and forth, shoot here, go to the other one, shoot What's there, go to the other one, you know, started. make him confused. Are they going to try and cross this bridge? They would have served their purpose as a distraction, but they kept. They tried to cross. Yeah, you, you said it. They they tried to cross. They got a little too angsty, and it just they they ended up paying for it in the. Their CQB they, was on point. I felt they did absolutely. a great job in their in their close quarter combat. 
It just yeah. didn't have the numbers once they got across the river. They probably threw away a squad and a half trying to cross their respective bridges and stuff. And especially when you lose a straight up fire team to a dish cut range. Yeah. Because you forgot to smoke off like the last corner of the bridge. I mean, <laughs> you knew that Dishka was there. There's no reason why they should have pushed that bridge. If they knew a Dishka was watching that bridge, I would have moved along. Exactly. I think that, they that would have had, had already destroyed the, the MRAP at that point, right? When they tried yeah, to cross. Yeah, that was right after they destroyed the MRAP. They reworked, they pulled their southern squad. They pulled the southern fire team that was like covering the fields up, and they uh, they had them as security for SL, and then they had a fire team that was on the bridge, like around the bridge area, just like file up and push through and get destroyed like dominoes. It All was right. just silly. Just getting set up for this next round, guys. Unfortunately, we don't have our multicam session, so we don't have all of our cool little trailers and things we would give you guys in between the uh, rounds. But we will make do and just talk your ears off uh, for the uh, the time. Know that guy. Girl. OMG, you noob's heart. Okay. Going to get a. Uh, it, it'll take about 15 minutes for everything to get started, guys. Our admin, our event admins, have doing a. I've been doing a great job on getting everything moving, and everything flowing just a little bit, uh, yeah, a little bit smoother and a little bit quicker. A little bit quicker for sure. I mean, a firefight we had uh, last week. We went live at nine o'clock, which is amazing when you think about like. For Saturdays and Wednesdays, we typically try to go live around 9 o'clock Eastern. And when we're going live with the operation that quickly, I mean, yeah, it's half the it's half an operation because uh, firefights, if you're not familiar, those are 18 or, yeah, 19 v. 19 technically because it's two full squads in command. It's 19 v. 19 on, you know, Operation sized L. Okay, we're doing two rules. Yeah, good I, game, they, they boys. Good game. Good shit, boys. 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 Get, uh, get it set up on the uh, modded layer. For those of you who don't know, we use a Squad Ops mod. Adds a few extra kits that aren't in the vanilla game, and we have a few extra maps and layers that that can add a little bit of flavor. I know like the Gordok layer has a couple bridges added. Um, they've adjusted uh, lighting and and things on certain, uh, certain layers. I believe th they've even reworked the U.S. Um, camouflage in our mod, haven't they? Yeah, um, that's that's a that's a thing that happens sometimes. Uh, the British and the U.S. forest kits, uh, the 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 camos for those. I know those have been reworked. To the the color palette has been shifted slightly to give them more of an advantage because just the way that they are in the vanilla game, they pop out against all the trees in the world. So, uh, but also the mod also adds in this fog, and the fog is like it, best if I describe to it. It was. It, it was stumbled onto by as purely a mistake. And it was a function of the level of elevation. And the more the lower in the map you got, the heavier the fog would be. And that's really that's really visible on a map like Gordok because you have these really high plains. And then in the northeast part of the map, you have this really, really low basin covered by um a bunch of a bunch of raised hills where the uh the power lines or the transmission lines go through and that's it's super apparent there because you get down in the lower part of the basin there you got about 30 meters of vis visibility tops so uh, in a map like this you you get about 150 meters of relatively clear visibility and then it starts getting a little bit difficult you really you're engaging at 300 meters tops as far as without being able to see with optics. Yeah, for sure. So some of the kits that have been added with our mod, we've got a uh, villager, trademans, and and farmers. 
These are yep. uh, kits that are kits that use the original insurgency or insurgent skins. For those of you who are just getting into a uh, squad, you, you probably right. just you see the the multicam uh, insurgents with like the the jackets and the turbans and stuff. This has they have like robes on. Um, they've got uh, old school BDU What's style that? jackets and. And a lot of them are carrying rocks and, and, and things like that, just to sort of give a little flavor to some of the, some of our operations to use a, a, a few different few, few different assets. And then we've also added in the breacher and the engineer class. And our engineer class comes with five sandbags and five barbed wire, or is it ten and ten? I think it's I think it's more. It's probably more on the order of like eight. Eight, eight and eight. So so they they're, they're basically. They get a lot of sandbags and barbed wire, more than the basic riflemen, and they can help build out a structure just a little bit better. The breacher class is our take on the, uh, the scout for the U.S., and I believe uh, the Russian team also gets it, and is basically a satchel charge that has been modeled by our one of our mod uh, mod devs, um, Dashby? No, not Dashby, um, the D. The D. The D. And uh, he, he modeled a satchel with a C4 inside of it, and uh, you throw it down, and I believe it's a 20, 20 25 second timer before it explodes, and it, and it has the, the force of an IED. So very, very neat little uh, little asset there. So it's 20 seconds. It takes about a second to deploy. So it's just like any other deployable in the game, where there's an animation that lines up, and that's added in there as well. But yeah, it takes about a second to deploy. It deploys on level ground, just like anything else, and it'll blow up after 20 seconds to time fuse. The same destructive line. radius as an IED. Dude, did, well, so if there's ever a map where there are IEDs and scouts and the sensor charges, they're on parity with each other as far as lethality. It's pretty much like a 10, 15 meter lethal range. Because I can beat them there. Pretty big. Maybe not that far. Maybe more like uh, maybe more like 10, like 5 to 10, but still. It goes through walls, and that's the main use for it. Is the explosive goes penetrates walls and doesn't really get stopped by walls. So the main use for it is to you know, uh, try to get people out of a uh, fortified building. And hello, everybody, and welcome to our squad ops event. We are in round two. We are getting set up for round two. Uh, for our uh, Wednesday event. This is Operation Foxheart. I am a commentator for the evening Shadowed Ritual, joined today by Bikar. You've been talking ears off this entire time, but just a reintroduction to everything. Yeah, because why not? For those of you just joined us for round two, uh, we are just getting set up. We'll probably get started here in the next 14 minutes, I'd say. It's probably already been, been going around. And we're going to go ahead and give you a rundown of the commands and the uh, objective of this operation. So for this round, U.S. command includes Hero with his squad leads Bag of Joe, Axe Gaming, It's Crispy, and Jack. And for the INS, we've got Command Storm with squad leads Jack Boot, Mr. Yuzi, Lawn darts and Alpha Guido. We saw good stuff on either side. Uh, I think uh, Axe Gaming went down super early, so we didn't really get to see him lead his squad. But most squad leads, they led their squads relatively well. I think the the uh, uh, Storm's platoon was just a little bit better on CQB, but Hero's platoon was a lot better on their maneuvering and and their and their their constant movement and getting behind enemy lines and, and inspiring them on them from the rear. So I great job on on either I side. We'll we'll hope anyway, to see some good stuff from them as they swap sides and we. B three. The objective so for this operation north. is the U S is tasked with clearing down. out the palace area. This little area right here that's already flooded with people. Well, this uh this palace area. There's a radio about to go down. Is it down? Yeah. Radio in here is their objective, and the INS is tasked so with defending. What's up, Snake Eater? The U.S. assets include for the squad, two automatic riflemen, one GL, one medic per squad, and they get one MRAP open top. For the INS, they get two automatic riflemen, one raider, one scout, one medic per squad, and they get one logistics truck. For their FOB, they get two HMGs and no other defensive structures. I believe the riflemen can place down their riflemen sandbags and their barbed wire, but there are no other defensive structures built from the FOB itself. 
I, have, I don't even think they have the points if they get down to two HMGs. It's just a tech Dishka techie, right? Or a, a, a Lodgy. Yeah, techie, yeah the Lodgy, right? uh, the Dishkas are 150 points a pop. So they just have the, uh, the Lodgy techie. So it'll only carry 1,000. So yes. they really have 700 points of ammo. If they ammo. really wanted to chew through the ammo with their Dishkas. But even last round, we last didn't round. see. They were effective, but they weren't really used that often. Uh, I think one point. of them got reloaded once, right, so realistically. Yeah, I, yeah. Partisan was so. the one he used his the most. I think the one on the northern bridge was a. Uh, not. It just wasn't in position to be I mean, used cr correctly. They didn't have anybody on it when they, when it was an optimal time, I guess. I might. I might it was. Might, it was also located in a weird spot. It was like away from the intersection, so it couldn't cover the intersection west or east because there are. I think there's actually. Is there a bridge they can use to the east? Yeah, they can yeah. use the bridge at Delta yeah, 3 7. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to go ahead and fly over all the bridges so people can see them. The bridge over here by INS Main is not in play, mostly because it is not actually a bridge. It's sort of like a, a road in the in the actual stream. So that's not in play. But they've got uh, four bridges they can cross. One, two, three. Yeah, four Six. bridges plus a, uh, plus a, a footbridge. They've got this bridge here. It's the most. Uh, eastern bridge they've got the bridge almost directly north of the objective they've got a footbridge just uh west of that which looks like it's about to be uh taken yeah, yeah, there's a little defensive marker here the right uh, uh you also get that in they've got the uh, bridge by uh police station and then they've got the bridge near raisin dryer this is the bridge of death in my opinion i don't think this bridge is is, is worth crossing at all maybe putting up a show of force but but crossing it is, is all it always leads to suicide in my in my experience. I've seen somebody get thirteen wrong. kills on this bridge, and partisan last time I believe got like five to six kills on this bridge alone. Well, you got four in a row that one yeah, time. Four yeah. in a row, and then the and problem with this bridge up. is just that there's too much elevated posi too many elevated positions for INS to hide once you go across. Yeah, you got the you got the field. What are you gonna do? Go south and go across more elevated positions? I mean. It doesn't make a lot of sense unless you have a really strong push that's like made up of people with aim bots and the INS people don't know how to shoot. Like, like if INS can't hold this bridge properly, then the INS plan is bad. Yeah, I, you know, I, I literally just thought of this, but what about? It's super risky with mines and all, but but what about a show of force on the north with everybody? except a fire team inside of the MRAP. The MRAP just busts across the bridge and takes this right immediately going south and getting around Sook. That gets the, the MRAP across the bridge and, and, and into a position where it can maneuver to, to, to support by fire on the south as the, the, the rest of the infantry crosses that northern bridge. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the problem with that is you got all these buildings in the way. There's really, like... Unless you wanted to push like south around Souk, and there's the, there's a cul-de-sac back there, and I'm at yeah, uh, Charlie three thinking. two, and if you take the MRAP like up that road to the northeast to the next intersection, that could be a good spot to hold yeah, from. Yeah, that's but what I'm thinking. If they, as long as you then, can get the MRAP across the bridge and you can support by fire on the, on the yeah. southeast. I mean, you could isolate this bridge and isolate this area for for treating INS, and that would be one thing. But you have to get your infantry all the way to the north there you have to have your infantry go all the way to like charlie what is this uh charlie two three so that's 600 meters they'd have to move as fast as they could or undetected probably more like 700 meters once you count through going through all the you know foot the random pathing that you're going to have to do to keep yourself from being seen or being fired upon that's a lot to ask for. Yeah, it's, I it's think if you're going to move situation. the majority of your platoon over here, you might as well just use the far west bridge. Or the I far think east the US bridge. The U.S. is rather, getting so. ready to uh, get in a brief. Let's go ahead and see if we can record this see. epic gameplay. Dude, this is going to be sick. It to my as far channel. as INS goes, looks like I a bunch of squad briefs. Like <laughs> 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 the U.S. seems yeah, like they're drive. starting their brief or getting ready to. Let's go ahead and listen in and see what we can catch. Uh, oh, I guess we missed it. Right here, oh, five minute warning. Whoops. Oh, five right. minute warning. That, that, so they probably did a very quick, very, very quick read. Thanks, Abaddon. Don't worry about 
we all remember the last time Jack decided to. Here, let me know when you guys are ready. Already oh, done. Dude, uh, we're ready. I'm just so, gonna last few things. Just from positioning. Someone, someone they're gonna do a two pronged attack. <laughs> People love his two pronged attacks. I don't know. It's yeah. gonna be. Hey man, uh, it's the same uh, angle of attack actually, as last round. Once we get across that bridge. What's up, Steven? It's the same bridges. Oh my god. They're using the south bridge. And they're gonna use the footbridge directly you north of the minaret. Good thing you got in the. Good Here's thing you me. got in the up. Huh. Live at 148, Line so live in one minute. Or northeast of the minaret. What is. I don't understand. Yeah. Why? Why not just use two bridges that are like right next to each other? Why not use the footbridge and the big bridge? But yeah. See, that's my thought. Like the footbridge and the bridge just east of that. Those are two bridges solid that are bridges. next to each other, and you can hook back bridges up that are next to each other that you can support with two. I mean, yeah, you can support each other with a. You can have a. There's roofs over there that you can get on top of pretty easily, and you could, you know, it's easily support from two positions there's two different roofs you can get on top of I, you know you put two ars on either of those roofs and it covers far down the lane and then you just start sending your people across and you send them to like school or you send them to the first compounds of immediately across the bridge i mean what if u.s forces get their number I, I think it's i think it's over and we're live now yeah, we're live all right we'll see this it looks like they're putting more of a focus on this western bridge yeah, it looks like there's... So, yeah, so round one focus. all over again. Oh my god. No, no, way more of a focus. It looks like there's three squads going uh the southwestern bridge. Oh, and, yeah, and a so squad one squad north. north. I wonder if they're just rushing the MRAP forward to see if they can pick off any people that are going to try to mine the area. I think he wants to, yeah, he wants to, to get the get there before they can get that dishka up. We got an IED down on the bridge to on the bridge to the uh, direct west. So not the big double wide bridge, but the single wide bridge. Oh, the MRAP is the going. MRAP is rushing hard. See, he's getting MRAP there before they get. Hard. They're getting there before they can even get uh, people across, or they MRAP before they can crashed. get anything across. He's getting a foothold. They cross the bridge. Are they they're getting a foothold. Teams at a time. This could be genius. No, nope. no, no. They're just getting security. Too. They're just getting security. Spread out. MRAP dry. MRAP MRAP's opening to fire. Take out the guy. On the roof. Oh, on the uh, Sergeant Rabbit gets shot out of the. Uh, Londarts, disc, uh, yeah, Londarts sorry, dropped the... the gunner of the uh, MRAP. Londarts the master. Yep. I'm in the Mighty the system sino jam. We can't. The rest of the platoon is 100 oh, meters grenade. to the west. <laughs> what the? Grenade takes out Toltec Tree. I mean, look at this. Look at this formation. Okay? How cute is this? Their their platoon Extent. column straight up the road, and they've already lost their most their, their their big one of their biggest assets. I guess the second biggest biggest assets for us is the GLs. I don't think it's lost just yet because they prevented them from getting the Dishka in place. That's that's in, in my opinion. I will trade the MRAP for getting a foothold across the bridge with no Dishka to to support the INS as they try and push. Well, at this point, I would just add a dishka. What is Lundarts is just shooting around like yeah, they don't know. They're Lundarts. starting to move. Let's see. This is not good. They're crossing. HML's just running. He's made it. He's made it across. Someone threw a grenade behind him. That was a smoke. What is? <laughs> HML made it what across. If they had the full platoon moving, Lundarts is. Why are you going to see HML? Where's the rest of his squad? Why, why didn't they the stop? HML told people, he's saying, why am I the why only one across? The only one? He, told, he told his squad to move. They just didn't follow him. Where's the FTL? Yeah, there they go, they're moving. They're moving, they gotta get guys across. There's plenty of cover to get across right yeah, now. They get, yeah, they've they got get the cover. They get right behind the MRAP and get in the buildings right there. Heck, they can go across and then prone into the smoke and they get behind the... Uh, the Dumpy had it right. The field. Overwhelmed them before they had a chance to get, get set up. And look, they've already what got a solid world. foothold. Oh, HML Monarch's takes out dead to HML. What in the like? This worked. I don't know how it worked, but it worked. IED goes off, takes out nothing. They're they back in the dis They're back in the MRAP. MRAP has been recovered. Wow! Look at this. Three squads gonna make it across minimal casualties. Very minimal casualties. That's that's a success right there. This is insane. What is Ines doing? 
Let's see, are they maneuvering guys around? It looks like they've already called the general fallback from the western bridges. They've, they've reinforced the position. They've still got guys on the no the most northern bridge, and then they've got guys on the far, far east. Sort of watching the intersection. And they're starting to clear building to building. One. Fire team trying to get him. I think Revy's stuck in this building. I don't think there's another way out for him. Oh, well, maybe there is, actually. Come on. Maybe, but he's still go. stuck. There's a fire team outside this building. Same thing with Raptor Actual. Go in, get funneled. Nade out. Storm is trying to reorganize his defense here, but he's in the east. What a great hold. This is Jack. Jack led the squad that, that got in here. And uh, is now maneuvering uh, the air map to get into a better position. Yeah, U.S. Go. now have three squads in the AO. What in the world? Three squads plus an MRAP that's that's able to put down actual decent fire. This MRAP well, is good, in a good position. There is a Dishka manned looking west around the bend after Souk. He's got... Wow, this is a cheeky position. Ooh, very, it's sort of very, in a... It's like... It's a shielded Dishka for one thing, but it's behind these like... Yeah, I've like, got eyes uh, on it. Booths. It's really, it's a funny little position, but it couldn't help him a lot. But the MRAP is getting closer. Can he see anything? It, th see, no. the Dishka tech, the, the shield of Dishka is not the right one, in my opinion. Not not with this fog. You need the unshielded well, to get just maximum FOV. Don't march people up this road. You're right, but, I mean, for what he's looking at, he only needs to see the vertical slice for the MRAP, because that's all he's looking for. He's looking for the MRAP to come around the corner because where else is it going to go? Is it going to try to go through the alleys between buildings? No, because it's impossible. He's looking for the MRAP and that's all he's looking for. Oh, the gunner gets shot out the MRAP. I think that was Wellome or that was uh, Flicker. Yeah. Four, we have all their attention down here, dude. You need to move uh, your ass Uh, Abaddon says drop Sino on Palace. Lore has crossed the bridge. Full squad now across. Full U.S. team is now crossing the uh, is is now in the AO with three squads on the southwest and one squad on the north. Oh, the Dishka fires early, missing the MRAP. The MRAP pulls back. They're so for the Dishka lo the they're, they're looking for the location. Jack knows the MRAP ain't going anywhere. Oh, he's gonna. He's gonna There's... get stuck. He's gonna get it stuck. I bet. He's already stuck, guaranteed. What is he thinking? Oh, he's not stuck, he's not but stuck. there's no way, there's no way he's going to go up <laughs> He's at, he, you just hear Jack yelling, Jack is the one driving this, Jack is just yelling, where's the dish guy? I need to know, Trills goes down to, uh, I well, mean, you can't hear left, right, because the other dish is actually in Palace. It all comes down to CQB at this point. They have surrounded wow. Palace just about, and there's a street separating them. The northern squad the has area. come across the bridge with little casualties. No casualties they at down all. INS, they've pinned down an INS squad that was trying to reinforce. What is the AMRAP doing? The AMRAP oh, grenade takes out flipped. three! The AMRAP is flipped in front of the palace. US grenade takes out three of the INS. Jack, Jack flipped the AMRAP. They're gonna use this cover. I'd use this cover. That'd be great cover, actually. Wow. Well, I mean. Wow. Get out of there, Jack. He's it's in the turret. <laughs> he, he no, just sit the no he's just sitting there. <laughs> there he goes. There we go. He finally got out. He was scared to get shot. I think he wanted to make sure there's nobody there. Look at this position he's in, bro. He's going in. He's in the compound. And he gets yeah, for about a second. Immediately. Well, it looks like a suicide TK. Yeah, but that was a grenade. Frag. Yeah. Ooh, frag takes out two for the uh, for the US freaks and Bartok warriors go down to uh, I believe that was JF's. Uh, oh, JP, I should say JP's grenade. And now the the, the the next hurdle is to get across the street. INS have windows. They have windows on windows to shoot. I mean, this is this is horrible. The position that everyone's in, like. This is like assaulting a pause without the reinforcement shield up. I mean, this is just dumb. Like, someone brought carriers and is now assaulting the pause, and they're just destroying it. 
There's no reinforcements for there's no reinforcements for INS right now. Hard enough. Everyone is still so spread out. Like what are they what are they down down here in the south? I don't know. Here on Northern Alex. I try to make outdated Eve online jokes and I apologize. <laughs> I forgot. Pause towers are dead. Silence trying to lob grenades into the window. Getting close, but he's only got about uh, ten more to, to, to get in there. This is this is this is harsh. What did they I say? The I'm They're getting it. footholds. It's, it's almost working. They've got a fire team across. Soldier Wolfie, Silas, and uh, Kahuna across the street. Like we got a fire team on the western uh, side. Storm Alice taking Island. so much fire, he can't even hear his here. command comms right we're now. Both on the second here with you. And there's a uh, stole an entire squad out of position. Hero's alive. I haven't heard Hero talk in a while. I'd like to see him take a little more command of his, uh, of his platoon and Just get these guys moving in at least some direction. Unsure. Yeah, right now it I think seems like they UC squad three is not still in the southeast, no and they're completely out of position and helping zero. Meanwhile, the defense squad for looks like squad and a half left back here down to a squad's worth of folks. Alpha Guido. So I mean, you know, new SL. Oh, what is he doing? Oh, okay, I thought he was running the road there for a second. I just got fooled. U.S. whittled down here, but there's still significant casualties for INS. And they still have a squad in reserve. They haven't even pulled out on yet. Kills. The INS are technically up in kills. I just feel like the US are in a much better position. They've got the GLs to their advantage. They just start popping GLs in windows. Seven, eight, or they're up seven right now. But they've got at least five out of position not able to contribute to this fight. Yeah, they got eight out of position. Seven out of position. Oh, see? So, it's an even, More than that, even match actually. for now. Yeah, it's, there's eight INS out of position. Now, some of them have started to move back. They held the southeast corner of where Palace is. Alpha Guido got killed through a window. Oh, they, unfortunate. Uh, the, the window right next to where the INS Lodge yeah, is, see, there's a hallway on the top of Palace that's sort of like open when till about the to middle. To Alpha Guido gets there's taken out by Little Joe. I see it. Yep. Very, very good shot. shot. Yep. Shot him through the porthole of the window in the back of the I'm center sure. of. Oh, I knew that was a lot of words there, and I was that able sounds to dumb. Show but them just know so that they understood. <laughs> just know that he shot through a two-meter square window at about sixty, at about uh, fifty oh. meters. Little Joe's got an AR with a bipod. Not as impressive anymore with that laser beam. We we'll have to wait for that MRAP to but go still, up before you it's, it's still impressive. It's still a shot. It was a first. He set up in a great position. It was position. the first of AR. He's in a good position to overwatch these guys. I, he's in an overwatch somebody, position. I'd like to see him get, I'd like to see him get the rest of these guys across the street. Sonny's okay. in charge of the squad, squad over here. doing stuff now. He's got a him and a looks like a he sent a fire team to the north to try to get around the backside. There's plenty of US in rear security. And he's moved his squad further along towards Sioux in across. the south. But the northern buddy team is only a buddy team. It's not a fire team. It's just two people. Seabass oh, leading the SFTL on Clay J. Sure. Oh. See what they managed to do. Liberal Pundit's looking at him. I don't know. He's turned yeah, around. No, he is. He's looking at him. He's looking at that door. I don't think he's heard them. That was supposed to be his position to watch, and he just missed Seabass and Clay J sneak past. Oh, Hero. Although I think he hears them now. Hero's gonna run up or get run up on. This is U.S. Command. Got to get run up on by Seabass. Hero goes down. North, north, north. Man down. Clay J gonna watch the door for. Sunny called out contact. They know commands down. They know there's somebody uh, Sunny, right behind them. Just start moving my guys. We can't just sit here. Looks like we're down to. Let's see how many US we got left. Eleven US remaining. Versus how many INS? A fifteen. I count 17. I threw one as well. 
Uh, probably. I just give him a quick guess. Fighting. Probably went farther in. Are we US up? moving across. Uh, yes, okay, nice. by yes, yes, Snake Eater. The managing to take out the US right. command is, is great. Ready? Great job. Right. Oh. The US trying to get in the entrances, Bag of but they're not covered. Let's violence of action. Okay, violence of action. Bag of Joe said go. Little Joe did not go. Yeah, so so Bag of Joe went in alone, and Little Joe was not able to return fire effectively because he. Dude, was not even that. Like, who prones in front of a doorway and then cues to like lean over? That's the weakest. That's Where's the that door here mess. on the floor? Like to the balcony? Um, Seabass still running around in the back lines of US here. There's still a couple US haven't pushed across the road yet to the south. Got silent uh, liberal pundit haven't pushed across yet. Theory goes down in the wall east. Liberal pundit takes out Seabass. Ruh row. Right door. One on the right door and one at the end of the hallway. He overhands, he underhands the grenade thinking he's in that area. US remaining. Okay. And they're Still working in buddy right teams. Now. I like this actually. They're so little. They're, they're forced to work in, in buddy teams and rotate around separately, and so they're not at all attacking from the same direction. Guy ran. All right. Looks like multiple eye in this building here. Using this one. Using this too. Mister Uzi they takes lose, out. Yeah. They lose someone for it though. Sunny and Egg takes out, uh, taken out by uh, Mister Uzi, leaving uh, U.S. down to four, three in the immediate area. No, Liberal seven. pundit on his own. Guy oh, you're, you're still right. still three to southeast. Yep, Silas and friends. And they want to peek around the southern road. They want to check and see if they can get to probably where the their U.S. teammates just went down. Or they want to try to get around this building to hit the alleyway. U.S. lost their initiative after their initial... Yeah, that, that's the thing with the U.S. You got to keep your momentum going. You got to get across the street. After you get the get across the river, you you then need to get across the street immediately surrounding. Uh, immediately surrounding palace. That's a really good observation. That's a really good observation. But I'd like to also point out that U.S.'s push, while it was in sort of the wrong direction, they had a lot of coverage. They should have just sat and waited a second. Like, you can lose yeah, your initiative you and next. regroup uh, and find it again. There. They just Bro, pushed and, and then, like, they were like, oh, crap, where do I go now? Yeah, careful, Wait for the other team to get email. there. They were all spread out. I mean, I don't know if you remember, there was three squads got through the southwest. That's a massive failure for INS in this operation. I don't care. I don't care what else happens. I think if they had regrouped in, like, maybe the walled yeah, gardens yeah. area, mass smoked, crossed. Like, that that would have been there. There that would have I been. Think I think if they just continued done. south of Souk and then came up right south, right, uh, they came up like they got elevated positions on Souk and those around the buildings. Oh yeah, that could have saved them too. a massive oh, yeah. headache of moving across the Clutch road, out. of having to rely on their northern fire Let's team at this point. He's, uh, zero, zero. He's U.S. Down. forces southeast yeah. pushing east now. Okay. Lose one. Down to Silas and the soldier Woofy down south. Local pundit silent, uh, and we are airborne. The only one's close to the uh, palace. Lil Joe by himself has got a Clay J in his way. The US have done a great job clearing out the INS security, and they've only got what three, three more INS on the outside. Yeah, three more INS on the outside, and then they just got to worry about breaching. Oh, they've they've wasted all their resources clearing. Little Joe about to try and I mean, beat Clay how many? J. Oh, Little Joe goes down. Yeah. Okay. Like, how much how much resources have U.S. used trying to clear all this stuff? Yeah, they, they're they're most likely 100. Oh, like they're gonna have zero grenades to breach and clear. So basically, they're gonna have to be like aces. They have to shoot straight and they can't miss. Hey, and they have to shoot first and hope yep. they don't get traded with. There's five U.S. remaining, if I'm not mistaken. Northern squad should have put the really fire spot. support where the AR was and then I pushed into the palace from the north. I, agree. I, I, I like where Lil Joe was. It. That is definitely one way to take it. Well, I like where Lil Joe was. Oh, Zenton's above. Uh, we are airborne. Takes him out. Silence. Finally, someone looks outside. All right. I think he was scared to go because they might have had still fire support in this building across the street to the north. Definitely, if you put uh, uh, at least a fire team up in these uh, up in this upper uh, story, uh, one AR, a couple riflemen, had the rest of the platoon push. That would have got them across this street here, and then they would have been able to slow down very uh, and then very methodically clear out this uh, compound. 
Yeah, and to be honest, I've never played this map and not just jumped that gap there in the palace. It's one upstairs. I mean, it's the single greatest. Oh, it's gonna be upstairs. It's the right. single it's greatest. Uh, oh, uh, it's two US trying to preach the back. Contacts upstairs and right. One down. He's down. That was Tarkus. Tarkus gone. Nova's watching. Nova. Though. Yeah, he's got PPSH. It's it's over. Dishka's deserted. Nobody's using it. Sound's still looking north. There's still INS to their sound. Not helping. Wolfie dead and Nova. You missed a lot, but with that PPSH drum mag, it doesn't matter how many you miss if you get a couple shots on target. Silent and Clay J are gonna walk in the same compound yeah. here. Silent Honey gets Clay, Clay J though in the back. Uh, I, th I think Silent got him. Oh, okay. I thought, yeah. They're anyway. in the same crossbar. Two, three US remaining. Three against. Two on the outside, and looks like five on the inside. Sorry, that's six. Over here. Oh, you're right, six. Still, PPSH covering the back door. Nate's out grenade me. actually right. hits silent. And that other grenade. Watch me. Don't, uh, heal me. don't heal me. Watch south. I'm healing. I don't you know what that was. I don't, know. I don't know. That was Sergeant JC. On the roof. 100%? Discovering that raider kits There's have like roof. multiple frags. Which is the whole point. Island is very paranoid right now. He, he keeps trade. calling him on He'll the roof because the other guy, uh, uh, I think it was like airborne or something, he got, he got just screwed over by somebody peeking over the roof and just going down on him from the top. Mr. Hughes is in position to shoot this, uh, shoot them from the southeast, and they're not looking. Neither is he. Well, he's looking now, but he can't see from his position, man. Look at Silent. I mean, or uh, is that Silent? Yeah, there's like a yeah, tree silent. in the way. Well, I was yeah. thinking more like Liberal Pundit. Liberal, they, they well, maybe. maybe I think Liberal Pundit will shoot him first. I wonder if Mr. Yuzi's just waiting to line up a shot. Silent there. gets one. Missed. Yep, Yuzi lines up a shot on Liberal. That leaves Silas and Silence. Anybody Two on eight. Yeah, me, they're behind now. They're outside southeast. Yeah, I know. Uh-oh. He, uh, sorry, the JC just, uh, shot on his own squad lead. He's able to bandage in time. Grenade going off. Um. Watch it for the grenade. Oh, he, great job by Silent, realizing he might not have his rifle back up after tossing that grenade. I'm in. He's Silent not looking the right way. Him. Damn it. <laughs> he just God, wasn't damn. looking the right way. Great breach by him, though. Fucking rip. Great I mean, look breach. at where Peach is, for one thing. Right, he's in the it. cellar. And he's just cr he's just now saying, not GG yet. He's he's anticipating that he got the last kill there. Silas running around the front. This can actually work, although he's covered by Storm. Can Silas go So here we Rambo. go. Will Storm, will Storm get it? No, he gets in the front door. So able to penetrate, but there's still someone on the bottom floor looking up. As JP with a Raider kit, he's got a PPSH sort of looking back and forth in the hallway. He sort of just solid snaked his way in there. And I wonder if they heard him. Storm's holding this angle. Silas taking a breather here. I need a second to come down, fellas. <laughs> he's saying, I need a second to come down. Yeah, it's probably worth, you know, it's probably worth it at this point. Your heart rate, your heart rate I down. Mean, He's gotta he's gotta choose the right time to move out. Now he's moving. No calls out in local. There's a guy directly above him that could have heard him. Storm could have heard him. He might see him gun barrel to barrel here. Nice. See, Silas, it's not five on one. It is Silas gets five one. separate one on ones for Silas right They're here. They're coming back. They're all rushing him at this point. The prone guy is still in his uh, corner, but Silas hears right. him. No one else on this top floor. He sees the radio, so he might just camp this Can't stairwell right here. Answer. Storm calls out correctly that he went left. Frag out. Gets thrown. Right, okay. P tape will run away from him. Oh, trades. trades with Dixbolt. All right. That was that was really really close. It ended up being one, that was two, funny three. There at the end.
Dick Spoke put about half a mag into the door post Gigi. and uh, Silas. Gigi, and oh, the Silas. way that he Very looked back, you should have gotten him. Silas. 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 Crouch probably. Silas. Silas. Well. Yeah, the U.S. had their, Silas, their bridge so crossing to was that. so that was much, the last guy so good. That, that, that bridge is crossing a lot was closer, outside amazing. It's a lot closer than the U.S. typically gets on this map. Yeah, good try, very, buddy. very close for the U.S. considering how how wide the the margins deaths are usually. Um, well, that about wraps it up for us here. Thank you, Bcar, for uh, being co-commentator. I am your other commentator, Shadow Ritual. Thank you for uh, our event uh, event staff for doing uh, what they do and making these events run so smoothly. Thank you for everybody who joins us for these events. If you are interested in, in joining in on these events, check us out at squadops.gg. Sign up on our website or sign up on the calendar for a uh, basic training spot. After that. You can sign up for any and all um, operations that you want. If you liked uh, watching this and you want to uh, give us a follow at twitch.tv forward slash squad ops, we stream every Wednesday and Saturday. Uh, we stream uh, our events. And uh, that wraps it up for us here, guys. Thank you uh, for joining us. Have a good night, y'all.